What's up guys, I'm Shane and welcome to a new series on the channel. This might only last a couple of weeks, basically because we just won a national championship in the relegation league with New Mexico State and because I need a little bit of time to set up the next dynasty, like the main series dynasty. The storyline's done, but it takes a while to edit. Uh, I'm gonna want something to sort of fill in for a week or two just to give me time to edit it and hopefully upgrade to college football revamped. So what I'm gonna do here, we're gonna do maybe, you know, five, six episodes, and we'll see how it goes. This is going to be a Sim Dynasty. I'm not gonna play any of the games. It's gonna be kind of similar to Crow's five-year rebuilds, except each episode is only gonna be one season. Uh, we'll take a little bit more of an in-depth look at stuff as we're going through. There'll maybe be quicker episodes, but these are basically just for me to produce them pretty quickly, keep some content going on the channel, and buy myself some time to do some more heavy editing. And if this series is going well and you guys enjoy it, I can keep it going up to 60 episodes or 60 seasons. I don't know, I guess it'd be kind of cool to see it to the end. So uh, if you like it, be sure to you know hit that like button down below and make sure you're always clicking back. And that tells me you want to see more of it. Now we are using the Connecticut Huskies because I let my daughter pick the school, she saw a team named the Huskies, she loves dogs, so we're the Huskies. Now the roster is not bad for this season and maybe next. Uh, this is definitely one of the more better overall schools that I've started off with, but they drop off in a hurry. What I'm going to focus on though is youth, if I can. So we got Brigham right here. He is a 79 overall quarterback, but he's a true, or not a true freshman, but a redshirted freshman. So even though Lowe is five overall points better, he's a junior. Uh, so we're going to start Brigham over him. We got Owens down here. He's not going to, you know, he'll be the third stringer. And then Marshall's a true freshman, so we can redshirt him. And basically, we're just going to try and set up where we can. So like now I know quarterback is not a pressing need for us off the bat. But if we find a good prospect, we'll take him. Same thing. We got Kellen Smith at halfback. You know, there's not too many great options here we got a couple younger players down here so i redshirted both of them but halfbacks position a need fullback uh i'm running the wisconsin offense right now for the playbook so fullbacks kind of important and they stink the receivers aren't great there is a 74 overall freshman here so he's gonna catch a red shirt tight ends are all right you know 75 overall redshirted sophomore it's not terrible Offensive line, so there's a 79 overall left tackle here, but the backup is a sophomore who's only three points worth, so we're just going to start him. Although I love the idea of a six foot nine offensive lineman. You know, guard, we got a 73 overall true freshman here, so he'll catch a red shirt. That might not be bad, so at least one offensive lineman spot, but center, eh, I'm starting one of the tackles here right now. Right guard, I mean, they got a 74 overall down here. And right tackle, I mean, this guy, Day is pretty good, and then it drops. So we need some offensive linemen, defensive linemen, 75 overall sophomore, so he'll catch a red shirt. Uh, you know, these guys, like I said, a couple seasons were passable. Davis down here, though, 81 overall freshman, so that'll that'll be nice. Linebackers are kind of young, you know, they're, they're passable. This guy's a junior, so at least we got one more year out of him after this. Same thing, the outside linebackers, we got a freshman and we got a sophomore, so one of them can move the middle if worst case scenario pops up. Cornerbacks, they stink. They're awful. It's, it's awful. I'll take any cornerback help I can get. The safeties aren't the worst. I do like having Sellers down here, 77 overall freshman. And then our kicker and punter are both seniors, so they're gone after this year. And this is something that is not important at all, but this is what I do to keep myself amused. Our head coach's name is John Shepard. We are a graduate from Navy, and then the Alliance military is the Navy. Our defensive coordinator, Garris Vicarian. Our offensive coordinator is Erdnot Grunt, because I just, I love, I love Grunt. Grunt's my favorite. So yes, I'll have a little Mass Effect reference in here. It will not be important anywhere ever again. However, we are not Coach Shepard. We have instructed the players to refer to us as Commander. That might cause some issues. Now, looking at the recruiting board, these are the players who were on their board right now. I got 20 people on here, and these two are the only ones above the 68. So maybe we can grab this kicker, maybe we can grab this D-tackle. And after that, uh, we are going to be heavily reliant on low lock. 
As far as the schedule, I just kind of let the computer sort of do its own thing. I just made sure to schedule UMass in about the middle of the season because it's a rivalry game. I don't know who UConn's other rivals are. We are an independent. I set up the conferences to be similar to how they are right now. Uh, minus, you know, Texas and Oklahoma are still in the Big 12 because they're not officially in the SEC yet. We'll probably move to a conference next year, but for now we'll just be an independent just so I can mess around with it. We'll probably go back to the American or something like that. I, I haven't figured it out. But what we're going to do now, I scheduled a couple buys at the beginning, so before any games are even played, we can get our access to low lock cheese. So we're going to sim forward to week three, and we're going to see if I can do something else with the board. All right, so here we are in week three. Uh, I found some pretty good players in low lock. They're just getting out of the board now, though, so hopefully we can have some good progress on a couple of them. But Jamin Dunn here, weird name, but number seven athlete in the country. He actually went up a couple of points. 91 speed, 91 excel. Pretty good catching, so this is definitely going to be a wide receiver for us. I was really, really hoping to find a cornerback out here, but no luck. He'd probably make a decent running back. Not the best, but I'd rather just line up with a wide receiver. Cornerback, this guy's a plus 5 gem. 95 speed, 85 excel. Isn't the best. Good coverage skills. I mean, it, he'd be an instant starter for us. I think he'd automatically be our best player. Same thing, Joseph Mullins, a plus five gem at center. I mean, yeah, our, our starting center right now would be a 69. So even with the best training results, he would still be better. Sean Langford, 77 overall tight end. There's actually a couple tight ends who I could go after. He's just the best overall. We'll play it by year. Dave Martin. Now I had a kicker on my board before, but this guy's a plus six gem. Uh, and we're falling behind Boston College on the kicker. So I might as well go after the guy who's six points better. And hopefully no one is going to notice because he's a punter. Tyler McIntyre is 78 overall quarterback. 90 throw power, 86 accuracy. He's a pocket passer, but I'm not playing, so I really don't care. Cole Miller, he's been on our board since the beginning. We've got a 1,200-point lead, so I just took his points away so I could scout some people. Chester Parham, another gem in low lock, this time at wide receiver, 87 speed, 88 excel. Uh, his catching skills, I mean, again, we just we need to get some players in here. The sooner the better. And Zach Williams gets a plus four. He's a Juco, I believe he's a junior, 74 overall. He is also probably a wide receiver or running back for us, one of the two. 86 speed, 90 excel is pretty, like, pretty good. So, yeah, I'd probably line him up at wide receiver, but I'll just take bodies. And sort of next up, we got Jason Johnson here. He's a plus two, 73 halfback. Again, we, we kind of need one. There's the other tight end here, 75 overall. No real luck with the offensive lineman outside of the center. I kept trying. I got one guy down here who's like a 70 in low lock. Uh, Richie Mills here is like... I think he's a safety. 92 speed, 94 excel is pretty good. He's not getting any points right now. Oh, he's a running back, actually. 89 spin, 79 juke. Yeah, I guess I guess he's a running back, if anything else. But he'll he'll hang out down there. Maybe we'll have a chance at him later on. Oh, yeah, this guy, Frank Hunter, <laughs> minus 7. He's a huge bust. But I'll keep him on the board because he would probably still be a decent prospect for us. You know, down here at the bottom of the list, Marlon Gray, there's another wide receiver. I just sort of had to pick one. We'll sort of, yeah, some of these guys we'll just sort of hang on to for a little bit. This guy's got 98 XL as a tackle. That's not bad. So probably not going great. We're going to get smoked by Michigan, I'm assuming, because we're not that great of a school. Um, I'm just hoping to not get fired in these first couple of seasons as we build up a class. So we'll jump forward a week. We'll see how these low lock people are going. 35 to 3. Like I said, we got smoked. All right. Ooh, that's not a good start right there. All right. We can we can eliminate Dunn. Chambers we're in on. Mullins hit and miss. Langford we're in on. Martin we're in on. The quarterback we're in on. All right. I'm going to give points back to Miller here. Parham we're in on. Williams we're in on. All right. I'm going to offer some scholarships here. I'm just going to take you right off the board. Oh, well, we're out on Mills, too. Good, you can have him, Texas Tech. That's all right. And Virginia Tech really wants this bust. You can have him, too. All right, we got anyone else sort of floating around down here? Now, here's what I think is funny. So Jones right here is a four-star wide receiver, 66 overall. 
And then Corey Jones is a three star, but he's a 68. I'd rather just go for the guys with the higher overall bump and just kind of hope for, you know, a gem or something like that. Now, there wasn't really a lot going on in low lock, depending on your position, so I'm just going to take another quick flip through. Like, I'll throw this free safety on here. We could use another one. Maybe he's a gem. You know, 65 guard, sure, maybe you're a gem too. Eh, he gets a plus three, so 70 for that free safety. This guy's the opposite of a gem. So is this guy. That's what I'm talking about. That's not bad either. All right, as good as a prospect that Carter is, I mean, we've already got a 73 overall D tackle here. I'm taking points away from again. I'd rather go after Crosby. For sure, I'd rather go after Crosby. Because I don't think USC has any idea what they're dealing with here. All right, and basically what I'm trying to do here is I want to get like five or six pretty good prospects. That's really all I'm aiming for. Anything more than that is a bonus. But right now... If we can just add a couple players here, get some wins, maybe start leveling up and get some more points and stuff like that. Like, as long as we don't get fired and I can level up, we can start going after more and more. But if I can just get that initial base roster in here, the quarterback's definitely a luxury. If one recruit's got to go, it's the quarterback. I don't necessarily need him. He wouldn't be bad to have, though. But I definitely want that center. I want that cornerback. And I will take that linebacker because I will move him to middle, redshirt him next year because our guy will be a senior. And yeah, I mean, there's some pretty good ones. You know, hopefully we can still get that D tackle. We have a big lead on him already. You know, we were already on his board, so we'll just keep going with that. But from here, I'm just sort of gonna pop in whenever something important happens and we'll start going week by week. All right, so here we are in week eight and a couple things are going against us. Number one, we're 0-5 and, and we've pretty much been blown out every game. On top of that, the 76 overall cornerback, Stanford found him, started going after him, and I already just cut my losses. But we've we've got some good things going on. We've got our home game against UMass. It's a rivalry game. They're terrible, so this might be our first one of the season. We also leveled up once, and it is now week eight, so we get an extra 500 points to recruiting. And on top of having a whole bunch of recruits coming to visit, I found Aaron Grant and Brandon Atkins, a 77 and a 75 overall cornerback. I just found them last week. It looks like we're in pretty good position. There was also a 73 overall cornerback. I was gonna try and get all three, but Mizzou is going after that guy. So apparently only two. Everyone else, Mullins, it's slow going, but we've uh, finally taken the lead. We're only gaining like 200 points on Michigan each week. Uh, otherwise, we got some pretty sizable leads. A punter we're running away with, luckily. QB, we got a sizable lead. Penn State is trying to come after Miller here. I keep taking points away from them just to use them somewhere else, and it's starting to catch up to me. We had like a 2,500-point lead at one point. So he's going to keep the 500, and he's got a visit this week, and hopefully we get him wrapped up soon. Uh, everyone else, it's looking pretty good. I, don't, I feel confident taking points away from Zach Williams here because he's a Juco. They're less likely to go after him. Um, is Penn State starting to come after this guy too, or did we just... Yeah, they're starting to come after this guy, so we're probably going to lose this linebacker. So that's unfortunate. But it's not program breaking. It makes me wonder... Jason Johnson, we're slowly gaining on Appalachian State. I don't really need him. And same thing with Brown. We're sort of hanging around. I'm wondering if I should just give up on the linebacker knowing that Penn State's coming. He would have been great, but would, again, not a desperate need. Yeah, I'm going to cut my losses. I'll keep him on the board for now. Uh, we'll go after we... Do we need the halfback, though? I mean, we got a 70 overall halfback on the roster. Do I have someone else down here, maybe? This wide receiver is still hanging around. Another tight end that I found. You know what? Let's do the wide receiver. We could always use more of them. It's heartbreaking when it happens, but I've learned that it's better off. If you see a team coming, just take the points away. Just take the point, because there's no way we're keeping away from Penn State. We don't have a visit scheduled yet. They're going to overtake us, and we're like, we're just gaining no bonus whatsoever. So just cut my losses and hope that maybe Penn State runs up, tries to instant commit, and if it fails, they just give up. And we can try and go after them later, but for now, we'll just focus on people who we have a chance of getting. 
But now let's advance a week. Let's hope we get our first win. Let's hope these visits go well. Oh, we're at New Mexico State next week. All right. And Texas State is on a schedule too. So hopefully we don't go over. Maybe we can go three and nine. We just smoked UMass. 44 to seven. Let's go. Hopefully we impress these recruits who came in. Oh, we gained another level too. And we did sign a D-tackle. Perfect. Pretty good visits, too. All right. Take another point of the closer. Let's get another 500 points we can use. We gained 65 points. Okay. Good talk. I don't think Grant's going to happen, but I'm, I'm going to keep trying. Atkins, we already got a lead, though. So at least we got one corner. All right, well, I got the point, so I guess I'll go after the halfback. I was going to go after this tight end, but Ohio State just jumped up, so that that's not going to happen. Eh, I'll go after this tight end instead. I don't necessarily know. Like, I'll keep changing the playbook each season, depending on who our personnel is. I just picked Wisconsin this year because it's a conservative playbook. Maybe it would help us. So having two tight ends is great, but mostly I just don't want to have to think about the position again. If we get two tight ends in here and they both stay... I don't have to worry about the position for four or five years if I can redshirt Stevens and get the other guy in. Now again, I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch. I'm just telling you my mindset. So if we can get both of these corners, that would be great. Those are going to be our starters for the next four years. Center, I mean, Old Dominion's coming. Apparently they get a bigger bonus than us. That's sort of the downside of going after low lock when you're a terrible school is all of these like all of these bonuses are under 100 points this guy's only getting 20. this guy's getting 15. all right i'm just gonna keep skipping forward and hope that everything goes well i'll keep you guys posted but there's also a chance you just don't hear from me again until the end of the season all right it is week 11 we're about to take on texas state we got another round of recruits coming in to visit the 77 overall cornerback that fell off at least we got the 75 here uh, Old Dominion continues to gain on us for the center. They've already had their visit, though, so at least I don't have to worry about that. Uh, but we're not... I, I just... We need to wrap up some of these people before the offseason starts. And I keep adding people on. I think I'm done adding. Like, I think this is just the board now. If anyone falls off, then we're done. But like, I saw the 79 overall kicker. We need a kicker and a punter, so I had points. Might as well. And in a 72 overall cornerback, I mean, it's not the 77, but I'll take it if I can get it. You know, a lot of other people started to fall off. That 75 overall tight end was gone. I mean, really, from here, we're just sort of gonna hope. We lost Fernandez. I'm not even, like, removing people from the board anymore. It's not worth it. We got another skill point, and at this point, what's 6,500 points gonna help me with? I need to go after the recruits I already have, so I just threw it into the visits. Hopefully these go well. Fingers crossed. And hopefully we sign maybe one or two, if not more. I'm just hoping three and nine means we don't get fired. If I can just keep, like keep my job for a couple seasons, I'm okay. Oh, sweet, we got the center. That's who I was worried about. Okay, well, that's a nice turn of events. We didn't sign anyone else, but that's that's okay. All right, it looks like we're just destined to not get a cornerback this year. Appalachian State's coming after us for the 75 overall. And even at 72, Stanford showed up. They're going to take another cornerback from us. I guess I'll throw my points at Stevens. And, uh... Anyone else we're close on? Like, with a big lead, maybe? No, not even a little bit. I mean, I'm just, I'll try one more week for Williams, maybe. Maybe we'll have a chance. And an Atkins. I mean, the upside is everyone else... We've got some pretty good distance. I mean, McIntyre, we should be able to sign pretty soon. The rest of the people on this board, outside, you know, once we get to these three, maybe not, you know, these four or so. But Langford, Martin, McIntyre, Parham, Williams, and Carter, we should be able to sign them by the end of the regular season. We can sort of determine where we go from there. If we're still in contentions for Atkins, then I'll throw all my points at him in the offseason. If not, then, I mean, I'll split it up with whoever's left. Oh, hey, we won another one. Four and eight. Here we come. There we go. The punter, the quarterback, the other quarterback, apparently, and a D-tackle. They're all signed. 
All right, so not only has Stanford pulled further away, but now Florida's involved. We can just go ahead and not bother with him. You know what I'm gonna do? Because we have all these points and not really anyone to throw them at right now. So I'm just gonna take all the people we're like really far behind on, take them off, clear up as much space as possible. And I'm just gonna go after every single cornerback that's low lock and just scout all of them. And just see if maybe there's another gem hiding out there and throw some points at them over the last couple of weeks here. All right, I, I guess I'll go after this Juco's been sitting here the whole time. All right. We're gonna need help with the position, I might as well. There is nothing for athletes, though. Like, there is absolutely nothing. Okay. There we go, the Juco's a 77. I'll take it. Yes, I'm going after a 69 overall cornerback because we just, we need something. Now, who else do I got kicking around here who I can maybe just throw some points at? Mark Freeman, sure, whatever. 61 overall tackle, I'll take it. Hey, we won another one, all right. If we can pull an upset in the se regular season finale, we can go to a bowl game. I don't see it happening, though. There we go. We got the tight end. We got the wide receiver. All right. That's nice to see. Genuinely, I have no idea what to put these points into, so I'm just going to throw it in the locksmith. Uh, it might help. Now, the problem is we got a good jump on App State, but they got to visit this week. So unless it ends in complete disaster, they're going to catch right back up. Oh, Gray, we are going to be so close. We're not going to sign him before, but that's all right. Johnson, we're not going to get signed. The kicker, we're not going to get signed. None of these guys down here were really going to get signed. Someone's going to offer some scholarships to... Oh, okay. Well, Parks is gone. All right. I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the regular season, going into the offseason. We'll figure out what's going on. All right. So we are here at the end of the season. I decided instead of end of regular season, just go all the way to the end because... It was close, we lost 41-31 to Florida State, but because we lost there, we weren't bowl eligible, so we didn't have to worry about that. And if you're wondering, Boise State beat Alabama in a national championship. So that's cool. All right, now as far as recruiting Atkins, we're still clinging to a lead there. Pretty sizable leads on a couple other guys here. And then the rest of the board is just sort of people, I've, I've just thrown points at them. So what I'm thinking is if I do 6,000 points to Atkins and then 1,000 apiece between these four, I think we'll be in good shape. I don't know if that'll get us Atkins. I don't know if App State's just going to go for the full, like, the full 10,000 here. Uh, it's a little risky. But I want to make sure that I sign everyone else here. I know the kicker is not exactly a priority and a backup tight end. Woo, but... It still would be nice. And, you know, if Gary Easley's a consolation prize, then that helps. All right, let's get into the offseason. Oh, we also signed uh, the 72 overall wide receiver, and we signed a 61 overall offensive tackle. So, cool. We're safe. Target wins is seven. Uh, but, I mean, look at what the team was doing before. We're fine. All right, just some seniors graduating. No one's trying to transfer. We don't have anyone getting drafted, but the team's not good enough to have that anyways. Oh, never mind. The punter actually got drafted. They lied to us, but he was a seventh round pick. Good for you, McDonald. And we have an 80 overall free safety wanting to come here from Maryland. Yes, please. Yeah, so yeah, 6,000 and then 1,000 apiece for the rest of them. We should be fine. I just want to make sure we give that little bit of an extra push to sign them. If we don't get the kicker, I'll live. If we don't get the tight end, I'll live. If we don't get the second cornerback, I'll live. Really, the only one I want is Atkins. You'd think I'd go all out for him, but I'd like to add a few more people to the team if I could. And we actually have the number 28 recruiting class going into signing day. If we can sign these people, maybe we move into the top 25. Huh. So we didn't get that cornerback after all. We didn't get the halfback either. But we did get the corner and the kicker, and then randomly this right end down here. We get the tight end. Well, that's slightly disappointing. We also got the 64 overall free safety. So a lot of these prospects I wasn't hardcore going after. I was just throwing points at them at the end and then, like, giving them uh, just scholarship offers, hoping. Yeah, we got up to a top 25 class, so that's good. I mean, you know, I took the risk to add a couple more people. We still got the cornerback who I wanted. Yeah, jumped up to number 22 class. All right, that'll help. 
Oh yeah, I have to say it apparently like they went hardcore after this guy. That's why we got the cornerback is because they went after the halfback instead. Kicker wasn't even close. Stevens. Oh, okay. Alabama just sort of crushed us easily. Yeah, apparently if I wanted him, I should have gave him even more points. These people don't matter. They just happen to be on the board. I don't, I don't even know how I got this guy, but that helps. I can redshirt him and have some sort of long-term view for him. Oh yeah, we, we killed it. They only offered him a couple thousand points. All right, I'm gonna mess around with some position changes and we'll check out the training results. Apparently Lowe was playing anyways because he's up to an 88, even though I was starting this guy. Oh, I can just take Owens and slide him around to halfback if I want to. Don't really need to though. There we go, that's not bad. So we had Newton on a red shirt last year. We got Parham and Gray here who all red shirt this season. So we'll have a, you know, if they all stay, that's a solid trio. Birch down here isn't bad either. Tight end's still gonna be in a solid position for a couple years at least. Yeah, Adkins is instantly our best cornerback now. I mean, training results, it'll change that, but now you see why I wanted more. He'll be the number two cornerback. I don't think Smith is gonna get a plus seven out of this. Although I've been wrong before. So he's gonna step right in and start. You know what? I'm going to take uh, Henry right here. I'm going to throw him over at cornerback. Oh, it's going to put me under the minimum because I've got... Well, that's all right. Because then I'm just going to take Curry and put him at free safety. Actually, I'll put Johnson at cornerback. He loses less. All right, and it's training results time, which is going to be the end of the episode. So let's hope it's good. Uh, it's not bad. Not bad. Oh, there is a plus seven down there to the halfback, though. So Lowe is up to a 93 overall, Brigham is an 84. I still don't understand where all those points came from at one point, so I guess Lowe is just gonna start for the season. Owens, 81, Marshall down here. I mean, even with the training results, Marshall is worse than the freshman we just brought in. So I guess it's good we went after him. Halfback, so Smith up to a 90, Powell an 86. He'll be ready to go for next season. And, you know, some pretty decent depth, you know. 74 overall halfback down here, that's okay. And then that Juco athlete turned into a wide receiver because he was only like a 71 overall halfback. Wow, the fullback got a plus two, good job. Golden up to a 91. Yeah, see, we got some pretty good wide receivers here to last us a year. Newton, he'll be here as the fourth receiver. Rushing's up to an 82. Blanco got a plus four to a 76. So our new freshman tight end He'll catch a red shirt, actually. I think that's the best way to do it. Let him catch a red shirt, let Blanco have this spot, and he'll come in and be the number two tight end for one season and then be the starter. Left tackle, all right, Beck with some pretty decent results up to an 81. Howard getting a plus five on a red shirt, so left guard again is pretty solid. The center got a plus six. That's not bad, but you're still gonna be a backup. Plus five for the right guard, he'll be the starter now too. And Bird, who was our right guard, I moved him over to right tackle, so he gets a plus four. He's serviceable. So I'm still going to need a few offensive linemen, so the offense isn't quite set. Now, defense, oh my god, this guy only got a plus two. What the heck, I was banking everything on Estes, and he only gets a plus two. Didn't go that much better over here. These guys just, wow. All right, we're, we're going to have to get some defensive ends coming. Because he tackles, so plus four for Davis. That's not bad. McCall getting a plus five. So actually, he would be the backup. So I guess those two 73 overalls I can redshirt. I don't know if they're both going to stay. Some people are going to transfer out of here. But I'm just going to accumulate talent as much as possible and hope that some people stay. Left outside linebacker. I move Keller over from right. So he gets a plus five. Mackey gets a plus four up to a 92. Brooks was our uh, left outside linebacker last season. He'll slide inside. He'll take over for that one year afterwards, and hopefully I can grab someone else. And right outside linebacker, Brown's only a sophomore. He only gets a plus three, but he'll, you know, he has two more years. Corners, okay, a plus five for these three. You know, Alex Johnson was a safety last season, so he's getting a plus five up to 78, which means he's one point better than he was as a safety. But we have so many of them now, it, what's the point? So that's not bad. So these two will be 78. We'll have the true freshman at 75. This guy is 74. All right, it, it's serviceable. 
<laughs> Plus fives all across for the free safeties. So Henry will be the starter this year. McPherson's going to be catching a red shirt because he's a transfer. Curry will make a solid backup, and then we'll have two years of McPherson. So that'll be pretty good. Goddard getting a plus four. Seller, season 81. So I mean... I guess either way, we can slide Curry over if we... Like, we can put him back over at strong safety if we feel like we have to. I just don't think it's worth it. And then the kicker and punter are both freshmen. I swapped them, by the way. I like having the better overall player being the kicker. So the 84 overall became an 83 kicker. The 79 kicker became a 78 punter. I'll sacrifice the point. Just put him in the right spot. Uh, but this is pretty much where I'm going to end this episode. I'm going to reset my coach skills to have more points at the beginning of the season. I'm going to move us and I think UMass into the American Conference. This way we have a conference to rely on because being an independent seems like it's good, but when the other teams there are UMass and New Mexico State and like trash, I'd rather just put us into a conference. So we'll have that going next time. But that's it. That'll wrap this one up. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, if you like the new concept of the series, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.